I'm not going to No, you can walk away and I'll get your stuff. He might stop. Yes. He might stop. Hey, get out. Oh, relax. Relax. Be careful. All right, put up the picture for a mask. I have a couple of things to highlight here. Um, Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, Atlanta International Airport, uh, busiest airport in the world. It has significant, significant commerce at that airport. I mean, there's a food station, multiple coffee shops, and it is a crowded place almost all the time. According to the report, she got into a fight with a coworker. We don't know who was at fault. It could have been self defense. We don't know. I want to highlight something very interesting with how seemingly management handled this and maybe her coworkers. The white male, in, in his attempt to stop her from coming back behind the counter, he threw this young lady and to me was excessively violent. That's my opinion. The black male demonstrated significant restraint. If you look at the full video, she actually, she hit him. She hit him. You know what he did? Realizing that it's not too much this person can do to me to actually harm me right now. He didn't get angry and hit her back. She picked up a chair, what did he do? He just took it out of hand. That's it. And his role was to stop the conflict. And so he just wanted to stop her from getting back behind the counter where the fight allegedly started. I want to highlight the brother who did that. Thank you for showing the world an example of leadership in a distressing moment. I mean, the way you handled that, sir, it, to me was, it, you're a good man, obviously. You're a good man. It, you did, you seem more disappointed that it was happening than mad that it was happening. Your coworker, however, the guy, all right, obviously the young lady was having a very bad day. Um, this is an airport. An airport, as I say often, is basically a police precinct, especially in Atlanta. There's no way she's getting away. No way possible, okay? Um, all right, put up the other picture. The video shows the employee grappling with multiple coworkers, including, as I said, slapping one in the face near the middle of the video. She walks away, looks like she changed her mind, uh, jumps up on the counter, okay? Give me my stuff. Literally, they did still have her stuff behind the counter. Still behavior, obviously not excusable. But once again, this is a, th these are immature actions and people have bad days. I have had bad days. I have engaged in immature actions as a young man uh, and sometimes as an older man. It all started with a heated argument, according to to the information we have. Espresso shots at harvesting grounds by Gate D9. I know Gate D9 and harvest, uh, harvest grounds well. According to the incident report, at least two store managers had to jump in, hold the woman back from attacking another woman, the incident report states. She picked up a chair to throw it at one point. And according to Atlanta News First, the incident report states she picked up a chair to throw it at one point, and one of the managers snatched it out of her hands. Police said the woman left before Police arrived and police said she had already been fired. Uh, and the police, they have basically said, you know, we're not going to talk about it, <laughs> which was really ironic. Um, normally when that happens, when the police say, yeah, no comment. That means that they are looking at a situation possibly with the lens of grace that may not normally be applied here because they have additional information. So we don't have any conclusive information about an actual arrest, possibly uh, the manager chose not to press charges given the circumstances and maybe even her age. All right, thoughts here? Yeah, I think that you're highlighting the man who threw her to the ground, this woman who is a fraction of his size. Yeah. Uh, I think it was important to highlight that because it reminds me of something that you know feminist scholars have written about, which is 
uh, is almost a psychosis, particularly in white men, with the idea that they might be able to uh, be justified in hitting a woman. Mm. He seemed almost happy to be able to throw this woman to the ground. And maybe there was another person behind the counter who she was fighting with, who he's trying to protect. But you're exactly right. There was no reason to use that kind of force on her. Um, and the other man demonstrated perfectly, you know, how yeah. he was trying to de-escalate the situation. You're also right; everybody has bad days, and I think it's, uh, you know, I would hope that I wouldn't act that way in public. But you never know what might break you, and especially if she was, you know, losing her job, that can be an extremely. I mean, that could be the difference between housing and being, uh, you know, homeless in this country. Yeah. It could be a very severe thing to go through, a very emotional situation. So. Things make people crack, and I think you're exactly right. Also, about the uh, the police are not giving additional details, so maybe there was something else that happened um, that led to this moment. But I think one thing is evidenced here, and that's that in this country we need to do more in the way of educating people how to manage our emotions, so that we see yeah. less violent outbreaks like this. Because it is something that uh, schools don't properly do. It's something you know, that is inaccessible for a lot of people because healthcare is unaffordable in this country and it is a necessary tool. You know, one that I utilize working in education, one that I utilize with myself now, something that I think everybody could benefit from if we cared more about, you know, managing emotions and, and teaching that sort of, you know, empathy education in this country. Yeah, so well said. And I will say this based on the outcome of it. Um, this is my conclusion, all circumstantial. Um, possibly what happened in the back was self-defense. That is a possibility. And if it was self-defense and there was a conflict with her and another manager, well, that other manager may have crossed the line to where that's mutual combat now, okay? And if the black male who clearly did not want to be an aggressor chooses not to press charges, this whole thing is a nothing. Uh, everything kind of evens out. That's just me putting my uh, law school graduate hat on. 